Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 13 of Lots of Giants. Last episode, we had a uh, an interesting glitch, a very interesting glitch, where like the buzzards were all circling around one spot, and there was like a hundred plus, I don't fucking know. There was like a million shadows, it was great. Tumbleweeds, got some trinkets, things like that. I want to go get rid of them and get some gold. Mind up some rocks. Uh, we cleaned out the hounds before that, so all the rocks are freed up. But let's go give our bud a pig king some trinkets and let's get that camera rotation correct of course and it's spring now so that's good news because I haven't been able to make a lot of the recipe Ooh, you know what I'll just take that I'll, I'll take the sanity up uh, I haven't been able to make a lot of the recipes that require fish or frogs because well I don't have access to them and I don't really know if there's a closer frog pond than the ones that are super duper 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 far away there's one right there. That, that, that would work. Then there's obviously going to be some in the swamp. But I need to make myself... Picking, why are you awake right now? <laughs> what? Picking's supposed to be asleep at night. I can't give him any trinkets right now. It won't let me. But he's supposed to be asleep. Picking, what you doing there, man? But yeah, I, I gotta go make a... Uh, what should we call it first? I gotta go make a... Bu uh, uh, I gotta go make a bug thing because I get fireflies. But I gotta make a fishing rod. There's all kinds of stuff I gotta do, and Wiley, of course, does not like this. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to explore a little bit of this desert just to see what's what over here. I thought I heard hounds for a second. Which wouldn't make much sense because we have our hound down desert over there. My, what was I hearing? What was I hearing? Did I, just, did I literally hear nothing? Was it just. Oh my god, the gear luck. Was it just Wiley's footsteps for some reason? <laughs> my gear luck as Warly has just been stupid. Hey, more frazzled wires, more trinkets. I'm not going to complain. My, my gear luck as Warly has been stupid good. And it's really awkward. I don't need these extra twigs. I don't know. My lantern's taking a beating. we got to swap it out for one that's at home. Get these things fueled up. There we go. Let's go to Pig King. He should be awake now. Give him what he needs. And I really need to go focus on these recipes before I forget. As much as I want to build base and deal with bosses and things like that, I want to give these things some priority. But here are some trinkets for you, sir. Chester, please. Did you say about him again? Oh, you have the chops for it, okay. So there's another trinket. That's a fair amount of gold. That should be... Uh, that should be good enough. I mean, I can never... I can never have too much gold. It should be good enough. I could use the opportunity to explore the desert. I could. Should I? I don't know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know if this is a good idea. Is that a quartz knot in there? No, it's a beefalo wool. I mean, if I get another trinket, we can give it back to him. I don't think this is going to be a big desert. Oh, there's a piece of silk in there. What do I know? I had to make a net. I didn't make a fishing rod. Oh, you can always make a fishing rod. Have I made a fishing I don't remember. If the only piece of silk, I can just make the fishing rod now and go straight over to it. Because there's a pond right th uh, right up here. Alright, well, let's just, let's just explore the desert, shall we? Screw it. It's the first day of spring. Doesn't really matter. All of that is grass. We can leave these resources here. It's not going to hurt anything. There's a gourd's knot. The only thing that would have hurt is if I came back here during summer and it all combusted, which is pretty friggin' likely. <laughs> there you go, dude. Hang on to that for me. Both our inventories are incredibly full. It's because we've been digging up things and dealing with shit and haven't had a, haven't had a moment to go back home and clear up our inventory. There's all this cactus that I'm just like, I'm so tempted to harvest. You know what? I'll take the health hit. I'll take the health hit. I've got this honey ham and I've got to eat it and I'm going to get a boatload of HP back from it. There you go. The fucking tumbleweeds are just just a godsend. Um, here, I, don't, I can't combine that. I don't really need this. 3% lantern I don't really need either, but like, what am I going to do with these twigs? You know what? This means I don't have any more food on me minus the cactus flesh. So I'll do that just to get my HP back up because it was at an un uncomfortable level. And I guess I should stop picking cactus now that it's now that I don't have anything else to heal up with on the run. Yeah, I really want to go home. I hope, I, I hope I'm stressing that point across enough. I really want to go home. What you got? What you got? You got any trink? Oh God, don't run from me. You got any trinkets? There's butterfly wing. Prefer some variety? Uh, you're gonna eat some butterfly wings. You're, you're gonna like it. Don't need to wear the eyebrow anymore. There's no more heat concerns. None of that crap. I'd rather have the armor than that. And of course, none of the hat items that I have right now can be sanity. We did not get ourselves a tam. We had the Mac Tux, Mac Tusk curse this, ep or this episode, this series. Nothing but tusks, no tams. I think it was the Wigford run where I got a bajillion tusks, no tams. Now, if I want to go to Pig King, 
I have to hit it up before night. He'll he'll still be awake at dusk. If I keep running, I think I can get there before that. I could beeline it to it and guarantee it, but I want to at least explore the outside edges and also find things like this. Okay, now that's on my map, that's good news because I know it's here and I can come back for it if I have enough time to make some fancy things at base. Like if, if I have time to decorate when I'm done crafting up all these recipes or cooking up all these recipes. Because that's my, my primary goal. Tumbleweeds obviously are a side goal. Tumbleweeds are always a goal. Tumbleweeds are great. What secrets do you hold? It's exactly what I'd say, man. What secrets do you hold? Is there gear in there? That's beef of the wool. I think it might be a stinger. It looked like a gear at first, but... Again, no skin off my back if it is a gear. I've got to... Oh my god. I've got too many gears right now. And you don't really hear someone say that often. At least not 38 days in the game. Warly, your tumbleweed luck when it comes to gears is just broken, sir. Okay, so this hopefully is going to just go up here and hook over to the left, dead end out, and take me straight to our good buddy, the Pig King. Come on, let's go. I just noticed, you gotta, you gotta notice that 69% shovel, it's still in my inventory. God, I love it. And you know what, with the silk I have, I can make the fishing rod. And I don't think that fishing rod is going to be enough to get myself all the fish that I require. I think I'll need more. If, like, seriously, if I stop and think about it. Seafood gum is like 2.5 fish value or something like that. Uh, surf and turf, I need a fair amount of fish value. There, there's fish sticks. Mm, there's like a bajillion that I'm not remembering. Top of my head right now. Let me think here. A ceviche, that's another one that we can do in this run. Um, <laughs> that might be it, I think. Hold on, where's, where, are we, where are we at? Okay, let's, let's not get all rotated here. I was picking up flowers to fix my sanity, and then I got distracted. But there's a there's a lot of shit that I require. All those delicious, delicious carrots. All those carrots that I'm just saving for a rainy day. Okay, Chester, come here, come on. You're taking far too long, bud. Gord's not for you. That bird was on top of the pig king, and it was weird. I dare say he was in- oh, fuck you, Tumbleweed, ran too fast. I dare say he was inside the pig king, but that might just be a little too lewd for you guys. I don't know. I want to get my ass back home. As much as I want to zip on over to this pond right here and take care of the fish thing, I think I'll clear out my inventory, clear out Chester's inventory, and get myself better prepared for this. That way, of course, when the bosses and stuff start spawning in and we get our next Moosey spawn, I'm more than capable of dealing with it because my inventory is empty, ready to go. I mean, I don't have any food to heal up off of. I don't have any real food to eat. Yeah, so camera rotation is correct. I should be able to ride this road most of the way there. Come on, Warly, you need to book it, man. You gotta book it. Also, I should watch the beefalo. They might not be very happy with me right now. It's sort of their happy hour. Yep, yep, there it is. It's their happy hour, not my happy hour. I don't get no happy hour. Only the beefalo get happy hour. Oh, 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 don't. And poorly for you, bees. I don't know if there's enough of you to kill that boof. I think he might kick your ass. <laughs> go, boof, go. Kill a ball. Ah, fucking pangals get wrecked. Okay, so this thing's got 3% on it. Three measly little percentage points. That ain't gonna do shit. I might have to make a torch if I can't get to base in time. Come on. I hear you, Tumbleweed. I hear you, Tumbleweed. 1%. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. Oh, you cocksucker. <laughs> you cocksucker. <laughs> Literally, like, the last second it could die out on me, it did. Ugh. Damn lantern. This is my thanks. This is my thanks. Oh, pfft, fucking hands. Come on. No, no, no. You, you, you just, you just, you get out of here. You can have that. I don't really care. I want to get a new lantern, though. So we have lanterns in the lantern pile for this particular reason. Gold, we're gonna put in the stone chest, stone in the stone chest, flint in the stone chest. Try to free up some inventory here. Uh, Glomer's got some goop, good boy. And our crops have grown. Excellent. We have, hey, there's a sweet tater. Corn, and another sweet tater. Wow, the, the sweet tater RNG right now. Okay, temperature will actually be a concern for the first, the first few days of spring. You notice it's below zero, so that's to be expected. Uh, he doesn't really like this, so I may just bank. Some of this cactus flesh to wait on it. All the meat's pretty much going bad. I will cook it up and then have to give it to the bird. I know I can just give it to the bird now. The bird likes your meat raw, folks. The, the, the bird likes it raw. But I can get some life out of this. I can prolong the meat if I cook it up for a little bit. 
Now, I gotta get seeds planted down right now. Sweet potato souffle is something that I should be able to check off the list because I think I only need two sweet taters. And there's a tall bird egg there. I should be able to get away with this. So let's check off sweet tater souffle. There's also fish tacos, which require... I'm trying to think here. Fish tacos require corn, so I can make fish tacos now, right? Once I get the fish value. Well, let's put all this away. Save you. Boom, boom. Just kind of postpone or delay the inevitable. And now, that we all have, now that we have all this extra fridge space, let's put the seeds down. Here you go. Here you go. And then we'll save the seeds. And the new boof, or the boof hat can go on the ground. Okay, grass twigs, things that are in Chester's inventory, silk, uh, the bug net. Oh, I should have been capturing. Oh, I forgot to give him the rubber bung. I forgot I had the extra rubber bung. It's no skin off my back. If I need gold, we can go turn it in. I don't really need this thermal. I shouldn't need, considering it's like the second day of spring, I really shouldn't end up needing that. Gears. Put away some of that flint. Trying to make heads or tails of what's going on in my inventory. Twigs. That's not a twig stack. Tw grass. Okay. Crappy pickaxe. I mean, I don't really need it, but okay. Uh, magic. Cool. Oh, another gear. Yeah, see, both of our inventories were kind of filled. So, I'm gonna get another fishing rod. I think I'll use it. Also. Well, I do need the sweet potato souffle right now. So, I think it is two of those, and I think that'll, that'll do it. I don't think you need two eggs. Or, it could be wrong, you might need two eggs. I think you need two eggs. Anyway. You have to make it in Warley's crock pot. That is one of the recipes that is unique to Warley, so you have to use Warley's crock pot for that. Uh, honey ham, while well, not like the most efficient thing, and I should be using cooked meat because I just ate honey ham, it's really good for healing, so I'm gonna do it. And also, like honey nuggets. That's a different recipe. Hey, there's Moosey. Moosey's near base somewhere. That's good. It's a different recipe, so we're mixing it up a bit, so that way I get some extra HP back. And I will want another... Did I put the pigskin away? Where did I put my pigskin? Okay, did I click on the wrong thing? Oops. Got a little ahead of myself there. Make another football helmet. I'm only having now is kind of poopy. And I will drop this off. We can use it to collect cactus if we go cactus grind or go hunt for cactus. If I decide to go mining again, I can take that. I'm pretty good for the moment. I really just want to get some of these recipes done with. Food that feeds the soul and nourishes the body. Trade Magnifique. Okay, I'm butchering it, but there we go. I got a bunch of health from all that. We're good to go. Food's taken care of. I'll bring the extra crock pot with me. I don't. I mean, honestly, I don't really even need it. If I'm not carrying raw ingredients and I have two honey ham, I don't need to lug this around. That's just an extra... That's just an extra cost. There, there, there's, there's, I'm trying to think here. Is there any actual need or purpose in bringing that with me? Not really. Okay, so Moosey's parked somewhere near base. What's my current goal? That would be to go get some fish. And I will think just use up all of this fishing rod on it. So I can knock out quite a few f recipes. Moosey shouldn't go anywhere. This should also give her plenty of time to lay her egg. And if I get some fireflies while I'm out there, well then so be it. Okay, grass and twigs like that are looking good. Chester's inventory is nice and empty. And of course, a moosey spawn also means that uh, a handful more days and then we're going to be experiencing the boss fight. Okay, now if I took that pink wormhole... I... The, yeah, there's a pond here. But I'm definitely more likely to get my frogs if I go this way. You know what? I was just going to go the wormhole closest, but I still need to kill frogs. For the frog bun, uh, the frog bun witch. I don't think I don't think I need it for anything else. Just the frog bun witch. Frog bun witch. Is that it? I think we're good. And I should I should definitely make my fish tacos first because I have the corn. I don't want to forget. So I might be able to check off quite a few recipes in this episode if I can get to the the ponds in time and the frogs. And um, fingers crossed that the frogs don't like lay into me too hard here because that's the that's like the, the set piece where it's going to be a boatload of them in the day and I need to I need to get in there and I need to kill one I have a really bad ham bat so maybe when I go back home I mean if anything I should have did this when I was at home I should have uh, used the raw uh, raw meat that was there that was that was kind of going bad it was in the yellow to make a fresh ham bat because this ham bat's broken yeah that would definitely have been the uh, better decision but I did not alas I did not well, 
We live and learn. Chester, don't fall behind. I might be running. See how he's st staying there? Uh, maybe. He might be updating. Okay, looks like he's updating. You can run too fast, and I've had this problem frequently, but I don't think it's so much a problem in shipwreck-enabled worlds. So I might just test this. Uh, where Chester will actually fall behind because I'm running on the road with a cane, and he can just not update. But because this is a shipwreck-compatible world, I think we're okay. Because, I, you know, I've played Shipwreck for a long time, and I've had coffee, and I've just I've gone so fast. I, I think Chester will actually update better in a Shipwrecked world. Weird. Okay. Whatever. It's weird. It's weird going between the two versions, like, the subtle differences I always have to pay attention to. Well, let's get fishing. What's he say about it? I can't see the bottom. Well, let's see what he says about, like, fishing stuff once if I start getting them. Come on, come on, come on. Reel in. Uh, I'm not even going to... Pussion, I'm, I'm probably butchering that and saying pussy, but he, it, 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 it's something it's something French. I'm not French. I don't I, I don't I don't pretend to speak it. <laughs> there you go. Or pretend to have the accent. So let's get as much fish as we can. And I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember if that's like one. I think it's like one fish value for a raw fish and half a fish value for a cooked fish or something silly like that. Also, the reason I'm alternating between ponds, if you uh, just keep using the same pond over and over and over again, right now it's already doing it, it takes longer and longer to get a fish. So if anything, I should have doubled up on that one, doubled up, doubled up, and then went to this one. But it does take longer. And I'm already halfway through this fishing rod. Fishing rods do not last long at all. It's quite silly. Fishing is useful, but I don't know what I... I don't know if I'd say it's like the most... Like, the best thing to be doing. Hmm. For, like, food sources and things? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty slow. I mean, you could compare to, like, this is, like, the, the age-old meatball thing. Like, you could just be making meatballs. Fucking meatballs, man. Meatballs are OP. <laughs> meatballs are ridiculously OP. Come on! Oh, that's a hound attack, and I have a really bad hand bat. And you know what? Um, there should be frogs in the morning. But this hand bat is that bad that I fully believe a spear will be better. And let's get a fire stoked up. Okay. Definitely would rather be fishing right now than having to deal with these dudes, but let's kill some hounds. And you know what? I'm not going to eat this stuff because Warly is just going to complain. We're going to make our fire bigger with it. Stay strong, Fire. Stay strong. You got this. Barley's just trying to fish. Barley's just... He's just fishing over here, hounds. Leave him alone. Leave him be. Crip, before the hounds spawn. Yes. Got it. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? You gotta, you, you gotta die. I just wanna face roll the... Oh, I thought I could face roll this one. Okay, as soon as I hit that blue hound once more, he, he'll freeze them all. Oh, no, that's right, he's three hits. Gotta remember, I have a crappy spear. Oh, he was too far away. He was too far away, you bastard. You bastard. I wanted to freeze them all. I would've made, oh, just go after Chester. This works, this works. I love Chester. It's my little damage sponge. <laughs> Chester's my little damage sponge. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Good boy. Well, there's our hound attack dealt with. No biggie. Could have cut. Oh god! Don't 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 press tilde. I always say this every time I bring up the console. If you press tilde instead of one on accident, press control plus L. It'll get rid of it. But uh, yeah, could could have kited that a bit better, but we're fine. You can hang on to that for me, dude. I did kill that one fishing rod. Let's kill the other. Make sure everything's pre-crafted still, ready to go. Cool beans. We're good. Uh, now's a good time for honey nuggets. Okay, 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 okay. You're, you're gonna aggro- yeah, you're gonna aggro and I can't do anything in that position. Okay, I wanna pull you away by yourself and then just fucking nuke you. Just take you down. Because everyone else is gonna get salty. I really think I only need one frog leg, though. But I might as well. Get, like, maybe a couple while I'm here. Okay, I, I, I'm pulling him over here. I don't wanna lo- oh, really, F? He de to me, so F didn't attack. I had to press Control F. Uh, all the other ones are going to be spawning at the ponds. And you don't want to aggro 14 hounds. 14 hounds. 14 frogs on you unless you have a trap. Because they're annoying as fuck. 
<laughs> and rip your inventory, because they pull the first item out of your inventory with each hit. Uh, unless you have a stack of twigs over there, they're going to be pulling my spear, then my umbrella, then my shovel, then my cane. It wouldn't be pretty. You don't want that. No, sir. Also, get my backpack, because you're, you're, you're going to die. Uh, fish does not last long. Fish does not last long, indeed. We might have enough. We might have enough fish. And I do really need to get home before... If a boss attack happens while I have the stuff in my inventory, I, I've got to... I've got to use it. Let's kill the honey nuggets so I get my health back from it. And if I can just avoid your aggro entirely or have you go after Chester, that'd be sweet. Yeah, just just don't go after me right now, man. Keep going. Can, can, can I maybe... Maybe am I getting greedy trying to kill this thing? I'm not going to be able to use all this stuff in time. No way. I could just make Surf and Turf for the sanity a couple times. It's 33... I don't remember if it's 33 or 33.3 33 sanity each time you Surf and Turf. It's ridiculous. It's, surf and Turf is love and life. And then it's bad, especially before the nerf. I remember old Surf and Turf. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You cocksucker. Just got close enough to me that he could be a problem. This is what frogs do. I hate frogs. Fuckers. Come on, de-aggro so I can fish. There you go. Come on, hurry up! Kill it! Kill the fishing net! Or fishing, fishing net, the fishing line, the fishing pole, let's go! Kill the fishing rod! Kill it! Kill it! I only have a couple more uses! Come on, Warley, you can do it! These, these poor fish are going bad so quick in my inventory. And I've tapped out these pawns that they're taking forever. Uh, no aggro, please. Okay, then the frogs will go away. I, I don't want any aggro. Let them, let them go away. Ah, we got this. So we wasted like an entire day out here doing this, but now I can knock off Frog Bunwich. I can knock off like every fish recipe that I needed to. I just gotta get home and I've gotta do it quick because fish does not last long. It's, it's on its way out. Let's see about frog legs. I am hopping with excitement. I didn't examine a frog while I was here. That is true. Kind of sort of had other worries, I guess, but it would have been nice to examine them. Uh, I'll just take a shortcut through here. I still have honey ham. I'm very hungry. See, like, honey nuggets do not fill you up. Honey nuggets are good for health. Not, not hunger. Because if you think about it, you put a meat value in there. And you use three honey. And honey's like 9.4 hunger or something like that per, per use. And you end up getting 37.5 out of um, honey nuggets. Uh, you, that meat value would probably have been better spent with meatballs or saving it up for honey ham, which you only need one honey and honey ham. Mm-hmm. Okay, we gotta go up north just a little bit. And can I take this road all the way there? I can. Just take the left on the road and we are where we need to go. I am gonna use mouse movement just to give me that little itty bitty bit of an edge. And I say it all the time too, mouse movement makes you go quicker if you are doing lots of twists and turns. If you're going in a straight line, WASD does not matter. But if you're following one of these natural roads, you can use the mouse cursor to run a little quicker. Because you actually lose speed when you change direction a little bit like this. Like when you change direction like that, you're, those little, those short little, like, abrupt turns cost you some speed. This is, like, super nitpicky, but it's true. If you're if you're really down with the wire, or some, some enemy's chasing you or something like that, or you're trying to catch up to a player and trying to kill him or something like that kind of thing, you, use mouse movement. It, it is actually quicker. Strangely enough. Okay, this has got to go in the ice box. I don't know if this is if this keeps things fresh as they as it does in an ice box. Uh, that meat, I'm making a ham bat right now because that also means Moosey's down. Mm hmm. Okay, this has got to go get cooked up. Let's do that real fast. Frog legs just got to go bye bye. So I've got my ham bat ready to go to beat Moosey down with. I didn't get any fireflies. I sort of wanted to do that, but we can go to an Assiduous to specifically get that done. Oops. Alright, you go in there, combine with that existing. I am picking this stuff up. And I think next episode, at the very beginning, we'll end up making quite a few dishes, because it is time to wrap it up here. We'll also kill Moosey, I suspect. But it is time to wrap the episode up here, guys. Episode 13 of Lots of Giants! We have food on the way, tons of food on the way. A moosey fight coming up with mosslings. I'm going to get my sanity back once I make my surf and turf. That's going to be glorious. We made sweet potato souffle this episode. It was a good one. It was a very, very good one indeed. So again, wrap it up here, guys. Episode 13. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.